Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace from websites and online stores to marketing tools and to analytics. Squarespace is the only one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I wanna share with you guys my final thoughts and review on iOS 13. iOS 13, the gold master copy has been out for approximately one week. I wanted to share with you guys my final thoughts and review on iOS 13.0 expected on September the 19th. Now iOS 13 will make your iPhone feel like an entirely new experience. And this is close to a perfect software update, including for older devices. So every device with iOS 13 is just going to feel like a new experience when you use it. Let's talk about messages. It's the first thing I wanna cover. Inside of the new messages application, we now have additional features built in. For example, you can share a specific name and photo with a particular group of people. So in messages, you can now create a custom name and a custom image to share with a selected group of people. So sort of like a profile in messages. We also have new Memoji and Animoji stickers built into the messages application on every single iPhone. So for example, this is the iPhone SE here. And if we go into the messages here, we see that we have Animoji and Memoji stickers built in to the new messages application. So now you'll be able to create a Memoji, whether you have a Face ID device or not, you can edit these Memojis. You also have the Animoji stickers, which are built in to the Memoji and Animoji stickers uh, section of the messages application. So a ton of enhancements to the messages application with iOS 13, including improved search. There's also improved search within the messages. You can search for photos, contacts, uh, emails, and things like that. So improved search with Siri integration in messages as well. So across the board, great improvements to the messages app. Now, next I wanna talk about the photos applications. There's a ton of enhancements to the photos app. First up, there's a new UI. I like it a lot. These tiles like looking interface here. Apple gathers information of your favorite content within the photos application and sort of creates this slideshow that you can view with years, month, or days. And this allows you to enjoy your content every time you open the photos application. It's a lot cleaner, a lot nicer. And again, you can enjoy your content, stuff that you don't necessarily go back and see. You can see it at a glance with this new UI. I really like it a lot. Apple uses artificial intelligence as well to kind of gather information of some of your favorite photos, the ones you like, and it sort of creates a slideshow for you so you can view these when you open the photos application. I like that a lot. Now we have under albums here some videos. We also have the ability now to edit videos just like we could with photos in iOS 12. So if you're editing a video, you can now crop the video. You can also add filters, a ton of different effects. Again, everything that was capable with photos is now capable for your iPhone to edit a video. So I like this option a lot. So a ton of options to edit video on iPhone and iOS 13. Now, of course, iOS 13 brings a ton of awesome features, including dark mode. Dark mode can be activated by haptic touch or 3D touch pressing on the screen. You can enable it directly from the control center here. You also have now an extension under control center that you can add to also activate dark mode. So there is the dark mode extension. You can, of course, bring it from here to here, and this will bring it to the actual control center. We can enable dark mode from there. Dark mode is one of those features that everybody wanted or most people wanted. It looks amazing. It works great, especially on OLED displays like an iPhone XS Max, as you see here. And it also works on any iPhone. So not only the brand new iPhones get dark mode, but any iPhone in iOS 13, as I mentioned, does also feature dark mode. And it is fully featured with all the extensions within the control center and so forth. Other features like haptic touch or long press on the display that was brought to every single iPhone will make your iPhone feel like an entirely new device. As I mentioned before, haptic touch or long press on the display of any iPhone will now allow you to bring up additional menus. And this was only possible on haptic touch devices or 3D touch devices in iOS 12. But Apple now brought this to every single iPhone with iOS 13. So when you get a text message, you can 3D touch into the text message, quick replies. You can also share photos and 3D touch on photos to edit and things like that. So just like this, we can share. The new sharing options are built into iOS 13 as well. So you have all your suggestions here where you can share. And all of the settings for sharing has also been adjusted 
here. And again, this translates to every single device. Now, another feature I do love about iOS 13 that helps improve the battery health in the long run for every single iPhone, I'm very happy that Apple brought this again to every iPhone, is under the batteries categories and then battery health, we have a new optimized battery charging option. This will allow your battery health to be preserved and your battery will last longer throughout the years as you use your iPhone. So just a bunch of UI enhancements, but also real software features that will help users in the long run. I'm really loving iOS 13. Another amazing feature coming to iOS 13 is Apple Arcade. Now, Apple Arcade will be launching on September the 19th with unlimited access to over 100 games on your iPhone. And this could be shared with multiple users so you can get a family plan or a subscription for all of your devices. And there's no ad, there's gonna be exclusive titles here and you can download and play the games offline. As you can see here, Apple will be bringing family sharing to Apple Arcade. And if you're a big gamer, you're gonna love the new Apple Arcade platform that's coming to iOS 13 on September the 19th. And you can find the categories here under the App Store section. So Apple Arcade will be in your App Store right here and you can download and play all these games and share it with your friends and family. You can start a game on your iPhone. You can continue on Apple TV. It's gonna be a great platform for gamers. Now, before we continue, I wanna share a word from our sponsors, Squarespace. Squarespace is empowering dreamers and makers all across the world by providing them with tools that they need to bring their creative ideas to life. With Squarespace all-in-one platform, customers can claim a domain, build a website, sell online, and market their brand. And with their award winning template Squarespace makes creating a powerful online identity easier than ever each template is a starting point for a wide range of projects. Whether you're pushing your side hustle or promoting your main gig just like I am, Squarespace will help you achieve your goals. I recently launched my very own website with Squarespace and I love all the tools and analytics available at your fingertips, whether you're on your mobile device or your desktop. You can edit and upload and change content. All the tools across the board are just great and easy to use. And if you ever have any concerns, any questions, anything you need to know, Squarespace provides an award-winning 24-7 customer service. You can you can chat, you can email, you can also attend their live webinars and they have a very helpful guides on their website as well. So what are you waiting for? Head on over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch your website, head on over to squarespace.com forward slash iDevice help and save 10% off your first purchase for a website or domain. Now the list of features in iOS 13 is just goes on and on. For example, in the audio section, we now have the new audio sharing features where you can share audio with multiple devices and controls those devices separately and their audio sources as well. We have additional 3D touch options within the menus in the actual music application, we have additional features built into the music app. For example, one of my favorites is the actual uh, music and audio lyrics synced to the actual music. So if you're playing music, this has sort of like a karaoke looking like interface here where you can follow and sing along your favorite tracks. And it's just a list of new features goes on and on and on. So if you want to get a more in-depth coverage of iOS 13, I'll list down below my playlist of all the beta coverages so you can see every single feature that's coming to iOS 13. This was my overall review and thoughts on the software. The battery is great and the actual performance of the software feels right where you need it to be. I hope you guys enjoy my review on iOS 13. I do recommend the software if you're looking to update on September the 19th. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.